Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We will make a desktop application with a list widget object. You can find the application codes from the GitHub link in the video description. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. We will make a simple application with a list widget object. I transferred the necessary libraries to the project. I created a class. Then I build an empty application using the class I created. I can set the title and size of the app using the set title and set geometry functions. I will create an object using the transfer box layout function. I will send the label and list object that I will use in the application to the box layout object I created. I am creating a list using the list widget function. I will add three options to the list using the insert item function. I am placing the list in the layout object using the add widget function. Finally, I place the layout object into the application with the set layout function. Let's run the project. I want to show you a text on the screen when any option from the list is selected by the user. In order to do this, I need to create a label object. First, I set the color of the list object to green. I will assign a task using the connect function when the list option is changed by the user. I am creating a label object. I will adjust the fonts and sizes of the list and label objects. Finally, I do the color adjustment. I will create a function with the name I specify to assign a task when the list object is changed by the user. I am saving the current list option selected by the user in a variable. Then I change the text of the label object according to option selected by the user. Finally, I insert the label object into the application using the add widget function. The application is complete. Let's run to test it. The text of the label object changes automatically when any option is selected from the list by the user. Don't forget to develop the project. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. You can watch more videos like this by subscribing to the YouTube channel.